forget to like and subscribe. And hit the notification bell. So we can go to college and get get more knowledge. knowledge. Welcome back in the place to be with the CBDC Assets Group. Thank you all for being a part of the group. I just want to say thank you to everybody that's supporting us over on CyberHodlGear.com, purchasing all of our CBDC Assets Group merchandise. Thank you again. Your support means a lot. What's going on, everybody? We're back again. Best time of all. Altcoin season is about to pop off. Man, lots happening in this space. Just want to share with everybody some things that I found that were instrumental in my view of the macro economy. And anybody who is wondering what's going on and is confused right now, this this video clip that I'm going to show you uh, is part of the video that I'll leave the link in the description below from Ray Dalio talking about the changing of orders. I'm going to share in this video Joe Biden talking about the new world order. This was uh, one one or two days ago talking about how there's a new world order and uh, how Russia is going to cyber attack us. So once again, to everybody out there who's a crypto holder, make sure you go get a cold storage wallet like a nano ledger s or nano ledger x those are the ones that i have in the link description be- the link in the description below and those are the ones i recommend because they're the safest from what i understand not your keys not your crypto if you don't have custody of your cryptocurrency off of the internet it actually doesn't belong to you who's to say putin can't hack the American government or all their financial institutions and steal your money. So just a word to the wise, keep your eyes up and pay attention. But I'm really confident that this is it. This is that black swan event. This is the moment. This is going to be the reason why crypto gets mass adoption because of the hack that Putin and his cyber warfare division does on the American government and our financial institutions. Could be financial institutions, could be porno sites who, who knows what it is i'm just saying that uh get ready because biden says it's coming and uh, i've been calling for it for quite some time you can look back through my videos and see that what i'm saying is true I hate to toot my own horn but toot toot all right hope you guys enjoy this one this one's awesome the end of this video please stay till the end the changing of the orders like i made the cover it's at the end of this video and it's the best explanation you'll ever hear in the crypto space about what's really going on I promise you guys will love it. See you on the next one. Don't forget to smash that Belongo Dango and subscribe if you haven't already. You know, we are at an inflection point, I believe, in the world economy. Not just the world economy, in the world. It occurs every three or four generations. As one of the the top military people said to me in a secure meeting the other day, 60 60 million people died between 1900 and 1946 and uh, since then we established a liberal world order and that hadn't happened in a long while a lot of people died but nowhere near the chaos and now is a time when things are shifting we're gonna there's gonna be a new world order out there and we've got to lead it and we've got to unite the rest of the free world in doing it so anyway but uh, look today my administration is issuing new warnings that based on evolving intelligence, Russia may be planning a cyber attack against us. As I said, the magnitude of Russia's cyber capacity is fairly consequential, and it's coming. The federal government is doing its part to get ready, but under U.S. law, as you all remember, the private sector, all of you, largely decides the protections that you will or will not take. Urging private sector partners to take immediate action to shore up their defenses against potential cyber attacks. We've previously warned about the potential for Russia to conduct cyber attacks against the United States, including as a, re- as a response to the unprecedented economic costs that the U.S. and allies and partners impose in response to Russia's further invasion of Ukraine. Today, we are reiterating those warnings, and we're doing so based on evolving threat intelligence that the Russian government is exploring options for potential cyber attacks on critical infrastructure in the United States. Asked for similar situations to learn how to handle the future well. Changing orders. (laughs) 
Over the last few years, three big things that hadn't happened in my lifetime prompted me to do this study. First, countries didn't have enough money to pay their debts, even after lowering interest rates to zero. So their central banks began printing lots of money to do so. Second, big internal conflicts emerged due to growing gaps in wealth and values. This showed up in political populism and polarization between the left, who want to redistribute wealth, and the right, who want to defend those holding the wealth. And third, increasing external conflict between a rising great power and the leading great power, as is now happening with China and the United States. So I looked back. I saw that all these had happened together before, many times, and nearly always led to changing domestic and world orders. The last time this sequence happened was from 1930 to 1945. What exactly is an order, you might ask? It's a governing system for people dealing with each other. There are internal orders for governing within countries, typically laid out in constitutions. And there is a world order for governing between countries, typically laid out in treaties. Internal orders change at different times than world orders, though whether within or between countries, these orders typically change after wars, civil wars within countries, international wars between countries. They happen when revolutionary new forces defeat weak old orders. For example, the U.S. internal order was laid out in the Constitution in 1789 after the American Revolution, and it is still operating today, even after the American Civil War. Russia got rid of its old order and established a new one with the Russian Revolution in 1917, which ended in 1991 with a relatively bloodless revolution. China began its current internal order in 1949 when the Chinese Communist Party won the Civil War. You get the idea. The current world order, commonly called the American world order, formed after the Allied victory in World War II, when the U.S. emerged as the dominant world power. It was set out in agreements and treaties for how global governance and monetary systems work. In 1944, the New World Monetary System was laid out in the Bretton Woods Agreement and established the dollar as the world's leading reserve currency. A reserve currency is a currency that is commonly accepted around the world. And having one is a key factor in a country becoming the richest and most powerful empire. With a new dominant power and monetary system established, a new world order begins. These changes take place in a timeless and universal cycle that I call the big cycle. 